Hey everybody, I just want to give a little photo of thought this morning. I'm trying to add a lot more content to my YouTube channel. Um, and so sometimes I'm just going to give these short little thoughts that I have about photography and how things are changing. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little about some of the disadvantages of switching to a full frame camera. Now photographers I hear all the time on the podcast um, and our students are always saying they want to get into a full frame camera or they feel like their their crop sensor camera is, is a little bit inadequate if they're using it professionally. And I actually feel the opposite. I, I understand that I have gear lust for many different things as well. But when I started shooting full frame, I expected to see a really big difference in terms of the image quality. And these are expensive cameras. This is a Nikon D800, or you might shoot the 5D Mark III, or the new uh, Canon 60. Um, there, there are a lot of really nice cameras that are full frame, but I don't think that they're nice cameras just because they're full frame, or maybe at all because they're full frame. I remember the first time I went out and did a landscape shoot, and I'm pr primarily a, a landscape photographer. When I went out and shot for the first time, I was really disappointed because I couldn't get the depth of field that I was used to on an APS-C sized sensor like an entry-level Nikon or Canon, a Canon Rebel, 60D, 7D, Nikon D7100, all those APS-C sized sensors. I was really disappointed because I almost always include foreground elements in my photos and so the background, the sky, the mountains, the whatever you have in the background uh, it just wasn't real sharp, it was quite quite out of focus. And so I found myself that on a lot of my landscape shots I need to focus for the foreground, get a shot there, focus on the background, and then do focus stacking to to make the photo look good. And on an APS-C size sensor I could almost always get the depth of field that I wanted to. And so one of the main advantages of, of full frame that you can get a uh, shallower depth of field really doesn't apply unless you want that. You know, you're shooting only portraits. And even then, sometimes you need a little bit more depth of field. So that was that was one main drawback for me. But also, what about just the size? Uh, it's a bigger sensor, which means it needs a bigger camera to accommodate it. Slightly bigger camera. You could you could fit an APS-C size sensor. I mean, they are now, even in, in point and shoots, but slightly bigger. Um, and much bigger lenses though because uh, it needs to focus that image onto a larger sensor so we usually need larger lenses um, you can see this 7200 can eat this uh, Nikon D3200 D with the kit lens uh, but, but not just because it's the kit lens really any APS-C sized lens made just for APS-C sensors um, the full frame lenses are significantly larger uh, most of the time. Um, so that, that's a major drawback. It, it's a lot more weight. I, I could drive nails with this thing. Uh, and, and I don't like that. A lot of photographers, me included, are trying to switch to lighter weight systems that we can travel more easily with, um, that we can carry, we, that we will carry around at other times when we'd probably leave the camera behind. And so that's another major drawback for me. Now, the ma another main benefit of shooting a full-frame camera is better color reproduction and low-light performance. Well, okay, if all else is equal, yes, a bigger sensor should, in theory, gather more light because you have more space for that light to, to be recorded on. But People told me the same thing when I bought the D800, that it wouldn't do well in low light because it has too many megapixels packed on the sensor. But you know what? The D800 does great in low light, and I've found that by having so many megapixels, I'm able to apply a lot more noise reduction, which has consequently made this an excellent low light camera. And so I just don't believe, I have not seen that uh, by going to larger sensors, you automatically get better low light performance. Photographers like to say that a lot, but as we see cameras with more and more megapixels and comparing full frame to APS-C size sensors to micro four thirds, the difference is negligible most of the time. 
And so given that, that the benefit is much less than, than most expect, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really falling out of love with uh, the full frame cameras. And so I am really looking at switching to most of the time shooting smaller format cameras. I um, am very interested in the Micro Four Thirds. I'm, a, I'm interested to see what happens there and also the Sony Next line that does use the APS-C sized sensors. If you do shoot portraits and you need that shallow depth of field, you may say, okay, but I'm a portrait photographer, so the full frame makes sense. Well, that very well may be the case, but at least one thing you should recognize is that, yes, you can get shallower depth the field if all else is equal on a full frame camera, but everything else doesn't have to be equal because let's say you shoot a, a Micro Four Thirds or a Sony Next camera with a smaller sensor, but because it's a smaller sensor, you can you can get a faster lens that's the same size and often the same price as a as a fast lens on a full frame camera. So you, I mean, we're seeing in the micro four thirds space, we're seeing 0.98 aperture. Uh, I mean, we're just seeing crazy fast lenses starting to come out. And with that fast of a lens that isn't that big and it's less expensive because it doesn't have to be giant for a full frame camera, um, you're going to get pretty similar depth of field. Um, also, software is getting better and better uh, with depth of field. The, the software itself, like in Photoshop, it's being built in and also into the cameras of determining what's sharp and applying uh, digital blurring of the background to mimic what depth of field would look like in a lens. So I know a lot of photographers are switching to smaller systems. And these are just some of my thoughts about what, I, what I'm thinking and why I'm looking to, to follow that same trend away from full frame cameras. And also to help you a little bit with your gear lust, if you've been eyeing those full frame cameras, you know, this is just a little bit of a think again um, video. Uh, I still love the D800. I shoot with it all the time. Uh, it's a great camera, but I don't think it's a great camera just because it has a large sensor size. And that's kind of what I wanted to bring out today. Don't agree with me? I'd like to hear your thoughts uh, or things that I missed or skipped over in the video. So comment below and, and let me know what I think. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more of these daily random photo thoughts. Thanks. Bye.